This is how to get all the special bots and Astro's playroom. So first off you want to come to CPU jungle to the first area. And this is this is for the woman from Bloodborne. Uh, so you want to just follow the path I take, you'll get like this message that's saying you need to solve a riddle. And the riddle is you've got to like find her, activate her, make a make a pop up into the map, and then you've got to go find a clock in like this tree root thing and set the time to the bloodborne release date and because this game is made by americans and i'm british so i don't know if anyone else does the time by this you have to set you have to set the time to the american time so that's how you, that's how you trigger the bloodborne hunter to appear and then you want to follow the route i'm taking uh you, you can die if you do die you can just respawn and redo it and, like you don't have to like resummon her into the map but you just make your way over to the clock like I'm doing here you kill these dudes like I do you got you gotta hold down square give it a good old whack a good old smack and then you can climb on these discs to the clock now to interact with the clock you press the pause button or the little button above the above the square button so I didn't know that and then here as you can see here's the clock you interact with the clock and you set it to 11 uh you set it to 24 11 2015 i think that's the release date of bloodborne either way you press enter you know you press the x button that uh, gets entered in then boom bada bing you get this cutscene and you get the woman from bloodborne that's one down three left to go this one was a pretty easy one to get now the second bot is the main character from Returnal, it's in the SSD Speedway, I'm sorry I don't know her name, I didn't play a lot of Returnal, I probably played it for half an hour on like the Playstation Extra, and I was like, yeah it's not for me, or I'll come back to it another day. Now this one can be a bit hard, I did die quite a bit, and when I did try to, uh, to trigger her to come out, to come into the map, she didn't appear the first time, so I had to die and then go back to it and it reappeared. But you've got to stand in the bush like like you did with like the Bloodborne Hunter or the woman from Bloodborne. As uh, so you can see, stand here, nothing happened. So I was ah. Oh. So then I like I died, and obviously in return, or you die because it's a road like. So I died, come back, and she appeared. And now what you want to do here? You want to pull this cable. You want to grab this minigun, and then you want to start blasting. Uh, yeah, just want to kill her from inside, apart from some green dudes that are like pea shooters from zombie from plants versus zombies. You want to keep them alive because you need them. So you want to come over here, and then you want to come up to this part here. Now these gold coins are going to come collect this big gold coin, and there's like there's going to be like this be like this teddy bear in this circle, and then you want to die in this circle, just like Returnal, because Returnal always is a rogue like so you die, come back, all that good stuff. And then you've just unlocked the main character from Returnal, that's two bots down, two more to go. So the third special bot is in Cooling Springs, this one is a bit more challenging to get or can be. It is a Gran Turismo race car driver, so the first step is you want to walk over a certain amount of starfish in a particular order. And you do you do get an, in, a noise indication if you step over the right ones, you get like a little ding. But in the video, I will show you which ones to walk over because I got it wrong. So the first one's going to be under this dock here. You're going to walk over this one, and then you want to follow my direction over here. And it's going to be a bit tricky because it's going to be like too close to each other. But it, it's going to be uh, this one over here. So you're going to walk over that one. You're going to get a second ding. You're not going to you don't want to walk over that one there. Uh, ignore this one here because that one's just the trick here and it's going to be the starfish by this tree and this is to get the Grand Trismo driver to appear so once you walk over that one you want to come all the way to the corner of the map to walk over the last starfish and it, it will make the Grand Trismo driver pop out from the ground and come into the map uh, so here is the last starfish and then there is the Gran Turismo driver remember that pattern because now we're going to go to a Gran Turismo racing wheel and to unlock we got to go to the complete opposite end of the map so you can make one way there if there's, if there's people who want to throw hands of you you throw hands of them you know you give them the good old one two smacker room a deal with them and then when you come over to this corner as I'm doing here and there's more people that want no, I want the good old one two smackaroo one two smackaroo this sheesh uh, this like I don't know whatever it's called press the pause button and follow the route I'm taking now you're having to race through all the areas 
and as as you can hear, you can hear like car noises going the right way. And as soon as you make it back to the cooling springs, you have done it. You have unlocked the Gran Turismo driver. That's three down, one left to go. And the fourth search robot is in Memory Meadow. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it is an ape from Ape Escape. And a word of advice: remember the dance moves on the D-pad. So this one I'm doing here is down on the D-pad, this one here is left on the D-pad, the floss one is up on the D-pad, and this one I'm doing right here is right on the D-pad. So just remember your dance move orders it is very important, because if you mess up it's going to take you a while. So first off we got to get the ape to appear. So you want to follow the route I'm taking here, you want to open up this wire, or shoot out this wire. Just be careful because it is windy, it can be a bit difficult. Uh, this is definitely the most difficult, like, the second most difficult part to get. The return on was a bit difficult for me, but if you mess up, you got a long way to go. So, once you get that second wire done, you can get smacked in the face by that thing like I did. But you want to come over here and you want to pull something out of the ground to chuck at the ape to make him appear on the map. So, here is the wire, you just want to pull on that. And then you want to walk all the way over here, like I do. Walk, jump, do whatever you want to do. You know, want to be quick, be quick about it. Want to be slow, be slow about it. And um, then it's going to be kind of, it, it's going to be kind of, be kind of weird in this part. So as you can see up there, there's a guy with a net, and he's trying to catch something, just like an ape escape on a stand here. And it's going to let you throw something at, at a blue cloud, invisible pile thing area. So now what we need to get is a banana. Now if you mess up this next step, you can always get this banana again, so just follow the, the route to the banana. But I think my mess up this next step is the dance instead, because you got to copy the egg or everything that he does. So you want to give this the good old 1-2 charge smackaroo. Then just follow this, get that just in case you die, because there's a lot of things that want to try to kill you. Come up here, you're going to wait until Buddy there shoots a cloud, one once he shoots a cloud out, you want to jump up here. And then they say get banana, there is a tree, you want to give it a good old one, two, smack a room, or do a charge up smack and it should drop a banana. So as it drops a banana, you pick up the banana and jump down here. And if you mess up if you mess up the dance pattern, you will have to get a new banana. So just remember what, what, what the dance move pattern is. And then so you give him the banana and then you're gonna watch the monkey to see what he does. So he does the floss so that's up on the D-pad. And then he does like disco, that's right on the D pad. And then he does the, uh, that dance that's left on the D pad. And then he does the down on the D pad dance. And there you go, once you do it in correct order, you should have the ape from Ape Escape. If you mess up that order, you're gonna have to get a fresh banana. That's how you get, that's how you get all four special characters for Astro's Playroom. And here you can see they are in the main mission area to get ready to be sucked into Ast to Astro Bot game because they can be used in that game. Hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, thank you very much for watching, see you in the next one.